Now I'm joined here by Longford's newest signing and one of the goal scorers on the night, Dylan Grimes. Dylan, the town now ended up winning 2-1 with a late goal, but you scored a nice stylish one yourself in the first half. half. Talk us through your performance on the night. We thought as a team, collectively we played very well. We showed great character. You had to win the game. There's no doubt about it. We lost it. We are under pressure. But I think it was a great win here. Yeah. You know, we uh, I think it's fair to say we kind of controlled the first half and a lot of the, uh, possession and, you know, we were creating chances, but draw to end up nicking the first goal. But just talk us through your goal to, to equalise. You wouldn't see many players even attempting a goal like that. No, I just tried to keep yourself calm in around the box. Just slot it away. You had, stay, just stay calm, really. You had your back. Did you know you were aiming for that bottom oh, corner? Yeah, yeah. I knew what it was in the box. I knew the goal was coming. It was just... Just you, you were taking off in the second half and Sam Verdon came on, he, he rescued the, the three points for the club tonight. Um, how have you found playing along Sam and Train and, and the likes of the other lads, Peter Hopkins and even yeah. Jack Doherty who signed along with you? Yeah, well quite quickly the lads have learned my style of play and I'm getting to know theirs a lot more. Training has been great, we're linking up a lot. So I think the understanding is, is there already, it's clicked so much, it's so quick to be honest. With Shell's dropping points last night and us picking up the win tonight, you know, the title race is really still well and truly on. A lot of people have Shell's running away with it, but there's only five points between us now. How do you feel, you know, going into a title run against your former club? Oh, it's, it's game one. It's game one.